Shut up! We're recording. Hey, it's Alex from Recording Magazine. I'm here at Coop Studios in Boulder, Colorado to bring you this review of the JBL 708P monitors. We also reviewed it in the August 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. Named after founder and pioneer of loudspeaker design, James B. Lansing, JBL Professional has been a respected name in the world of monitoring since its inception in 1946. The JBL 7 Series was first introduced in 2017 and is widely regarded for its powerful output and accurate response. There are currently four models in the lineup, the powered 705P and 708P alongside the passive 705I and 708I. As I mentioned at the start of the video, today we're going to be focused on the 708P, which is the 8-inch powered model. The 7 Series offers robust, no-frills monitoring solutions that provide a flat response with ultra-low distortion and high headroom. The 708P is a bi-amped, two-way monitor with an 8-inch woofer and a proprietary high-frequency compression driver. JBL is renowned for their use of compression drivers in studio monitors, which offer many benefits over traditional soft dome tweeters, such as excellent SPL performance and low distortion. The high frequency compression driver also reaches beyond 36K for a smooth high frequency extension. JBL also notes its neutral on and off axis response, making its already sizable sweet spot even more forgiving. The entire 7 Series is built around the same image control waveguide as the flagship JBL M2 Master Reference Monitor, which is known for its ability to translate between rooms and systems with ease. The 8-inch woofer is also a proprietary design, yielding linear low-frequency extension by leveraging JBL differential drive technology. The 8-inch woofer is paired with a front-firing port to ensure a balanced low-frequency response at any playback level. I almost always prefer front firing ports as opposed to rear firing, especially for home studios where the speakers might be placed right up against a wall. The integrated dual amplifier system in the 708P features a 250 watt amp per driver. <laughs> yeah, you heard that correctly. The high frequency compression driver is driven by a 250 watt Class D amp and another for the 8 inch woofer. With that level of horsepower, the 708P boasts ample headroom with plenty of juice to envelop larger rooms. I have them set up in a near-field configuration, but they have plenty of output to thrive from a midfield distance as well. The frequency response is listed at 41 Hz to 25 kilohertz, plus or minus 3 dB, with full extension reaching 35 Hz and 36 kilohertz respectively. The back panel houses both digital and analog AES EBU connections, digital through, and a standard IEC socket. A digital menu can also be accessed on the rear panel, controlled by a dedicated scroll wheel. The menu gives access to base management options, room EQ with 12 available bands, a parametric user EQ with 8 available bands, speaker delay settings, sample rate conversion, and more. I found the menu snappy and easy to navigate, but I left all of the EQ settings flat for the duration of this review. JBL didn't slouch on the internal processing specs either, with 192K 32-bit floating point processing and the ability to accept sample rates up to 192kHz through the digital input. The 708P is a substantial monitor, with built-in heavy-duty handles on the sides of the cabinet. With a sleek black finish and a blacked out JBL badge, they blend into a studio environment without drawing too much attention to themselves, visually speaking anyway. The black metal grille protecting the 8-inch woofer reminds me aesthetically of PA system mains, an understated look that feels strictly business. Each monitor weighs 25.2 pounds and measures 17.25 inches tall by 9.75 inches wide and 11.5 inches deep. JBL also thought ahead with immersive audio installations, given the variety of mounting options provided across the entire 7 Series lineup. There are top, bottom, and rear mounting points with a four-hole pattern, making it easy to expand into multi-channel systems with your choice of mounting hardware. 
Each mounting point features reinforced birch plywood for safe installation. I've been mixing on the pair of 708Ps over the last month on a range of music mixing, post-production, and critical listening, and I would sum up their sound as powerfully clear. They may be some of the flattest, most balanced monitors on which I have ever mixed. The image is crystal clear with a deep soundstage and a forgiving sweet spot. During my testing, I found the image and balance to hold up across all playback levels. And I will admit, sometimes I take buzzwords like low distortion for granted, especially when we're talking about modern gear. But the drivers in the 708P offer so much clarity that you can genuinely hear the lack of distortion. It's nothing but clean signal with a whole lot of power behind it. The transient response also stands out. Kick and snare have impact and detail, also, I've never detected any hiss or buzz. They're perfectly silent when not in use. The low end has enough energy that I don't think a subwoofer is warranted in most cases. I haven't been using one during my time with them and I have found that my mixes have been translating as intended, especially in the low end. That said, I think larger rooms with a midfield configuration might benefit from a little more support. Still, the 708Ps offer so much power and output that using a subwoofer likely comes down to more of a personal preference than any sort of a need in that department. This monitor is built like a tank. Everything from the cabinet to the driver is overbuilt and rock solid. The true test of a monitor is always about how well mixes actually translate. And so far I've got to say, it's been pretty flawless. Now hang on, let me clarify. The translation has been flawless, not my mixes. There's still plenty of flaws in those that need to be addressed on the next final, final bounce. When you have confidence in what you're hearing in front of you, in my experience, it creates this sort of positive feedback loop throughout the entire mixing process, and clients pick up on that. I consider the 708P a total workhorse monitor that delivers nothing but the facts, and has enough power to keep up with even the most unrelenting workloads. If you need reliable accuracy and the ability to crank it up without losing any clarity, the JBL 708P should be high on your list. It retails for $2,095 each, and you can learn more at jblpro.com, or check out my written review in the August 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. If you enjoyed this review, please remember to like and subscribe. We update this channel frequently with product reviews, comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Also, be sure to check out our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.